Hello, YouTube. It's Lone Pantheist. Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, I want to talk about. Uh, I was watching an Amazing Atheist video, which had Howard Bloom on it, and he mentioned something that uh, Miley Cyrus, and you know that it's because of Western civilization that uh, people can do stuff like this, and that there's this era of peace or whatever. And you know, it really made me think. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is what's representing Western civilization right now. The Western civilization is screwed, like completely. Um, you know, because I mean, there's just so much that I don't know why people seem to think that Western civilization boils down to freedom of speech, just like that, or that there is a such thing as Western civilization. But um, personally, if I would you had to choose between who would represent America, I'd much rather it be Miss America, uh, Nina Davalori. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She, you know, she's from Indian descent or whatever. I, yeah. I really don't care. Okay. <laughs> A billion times better, better representative than Miley Cyrus. Okay. If that's what we're, you know, oh, we're against uh, her because she's, you know, Indian descent, but Miley Cyrus is okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I, I bring this up because she's causing more controversy. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not even really that big of a deal. I mean, it's just that she was a good girl, gone bad type thing. Uh, she was a Disney star, so anybody who truly knows anything about uh, <laughs> history knows what happens to Disney stars. Okay, they uh, tend not to be so kid-friendly after a while. Now, uh, <clears throat> or people-friendly in general. Um, I also want to discuss, you know, but I was going to get into this whole thing about antinatalism. The ultimate survivor, uh, which is uh, basically <clears throat> the ultimate survivor is like the last person alive. And how, you know, if you're an ethelist, you technically have to be the last person. This is to be assured that what you did uh, provided that the end, there were the extinction of humanity. Then you can, you know, uh, drift away or whatever. But, uh, and in a way, that sort of you know, they talk about how everyone else is taught, is programmed, they're instinctive, they're addicted. But yet they're, they themselves are also obeying their own programming. Being the ultimate survival survivor means that you have won the game of survival of the fittest. You've proven yourself that you were the most fit to survive on Earth because you were the last thing that died. Okay, and then there's also the notion that the end of the world immortalizes us all, which is the whole point that... When the world dies, nothing, you know, nobody's going to say, okay, a thousand years from now is when humans went extinct. You know, humans are extinct. That's just it. Uh, you will never evolve. You will never get old. You'll never go beyond the moment uh, when the world ends. You know, you'll never have to worry about dying and the world, you know, continually going on. So there's whole, that whole notion of immortality and winning the survival of the fittest game that actually goes with ethelism, and they don't see that. It's it's very ironic, um, you know, to, to not see that. But yes, they're actually playing the game. They're playing the same game. They're just trying to change the rules, uh, which is what everybody technically does anyway. Um, you know, the only reason why you're reproducing, I suppose, you know, in their mind would be that, you know, you're trying to have your genetic code <clears throat> get a better shot at surviving or being the final survivor. And that's just how they will see it. So, by their own actions, they're actually following the game that they perceive to be how it is. That you must survive, and it's a game of survivor, you know, surviving. So, you, got, you know, if you're the, the last survivor, the ultimate survivor. You know, yeah, you'll die, but, you know, you'll beat everybody else. So, in order to do that, they have to wipe out all life on Earth. Um, <clears throat> now, this is like deep in the subconscious that they're doing this. Um, in fact, if you study psychology, this actually probably would make a little more sense. Uh, this is also getting to uh, philosophy and, you know, some speculation, but it just, it, it fits. The shoe fits, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's yours. Okay. <laughs> but um, I also wanted to discuss more about other things. Um, the fact that, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I haven't really gotten into um, making YouTube videos, you know, every, you know, every day like I was. Uh, so I'll probably be making one like once a week, uh, mainly because 
you know, there's a lot going on in my life right now. Uh, things are getting better, so I'm able to make this this video. But uh, pretty soon, you know, maybe in the future I will be able to make uh, more videos. But yeah, uh, right now it's probably gonna be like one a week. Um, so yeah. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh,